How's it going everyone, JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we are back again with another special video. In the past I have done videos similar to this one. For example, I did 10 surprisingly fast cars. I also did 10 super cheap fast cars for people on a budget. I did 10 highest horsepower cars in the game and stuff like that. And I've got loads more ideas to come and we're doing one today. Today I'm going to show you 10 of the most vicious cars in the game. By vicious I mean not only does the car sound so vicious and mental but it also performs it as well. So each 10 of these cars are going to have really raw power, really raw vicious sounds alongside of it and just very excited cars to drive and just have a big sense of unforgiveness, if that's even a word to them, you know what I mean. Vicious, vicious cars, some of the craziest unforgiving cars to drive. So guys, let's jump into the 10 most vicious cars in Forza Horizon 4, in my opinion. Now on the list we have the Chevrolet Silverado de Berti, I believe that's how you say it, I'm not sure. This thing is very, very nuts, you can see in the clip, some guy in a Koenigsegg one-to-one -one that was next to me and he, he couldn't keep up with my big truck. Fully upgraded, rear-wheel drive, this car not only does it sound ridiculously raw and mental, it performs it as well because it can drift so well, because it wheel spins so much, it still has a lot of power to it and it really is just a crazy, crazy car to drive that you really have to be concentrating to control it. It's unforgiving and it really is a stupidly fast car as well. In my opinion, one of my favourite cars to drive in the game because I like cars that are genuinely difficult to drive because of how ridiculous they are. Next on the list is probably one of my favourite cars to drive in the game, if not my favourite overall. It's the Ford Mustang GT de Berti. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but this thing sounds absolutely ridiculous. It's got such a nice car set, and along with that, it's got a ridiculous amount of power. Like, really, really powerful, and it slides. It wheel spins, it burnouts, it's absolutely ridiculous. Combine all of them together, the amount of power it has, how unforgiving it is, the sound of it. It's a difficult car to get used to and to drive properly, but the point of this list, it's vicious. It feels like the type of car that just, if it crashed into your house, it would break your house down instead of breaking the car. It just feels, I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words, it's just very, very mental. Next up is the Hennessy Venom GT. Now I was kind of hesitating to put this car on this list because I think it has a weaker car sound to how it has done in the previous Forzas. I don't know why they're starting to decrease the quality of car sounds, but I still think we need to put the Venom GT on this list again because of how unforgiving it is. Fully upgraded, it's got a ridiculous amount of horsepower, well over a thousand horsepower. And it does have a good car sound to the point where it sounds very, very ridiculous. You take this onto some straight and bendy roads and you will have a ton of fun. And as all the other ones, because it's rear wheel drive, it slides, it spins, it burnouts, and it's just very, very cool. And we all knew this car was coming. This is definitely, in my opinion, the strongest car on the list that, fix, that fits the vicious name tag. The Koenigsegg 1 to 1. I've actually done a video in the past just based on the sound of this car. Because if you take this car to a tunnel, put your foot down, it is amazing. It will give you an orgasm. Combine that with it being one of the fastest cars in the game, having one of the highest horsepowers in the game, wheel spilling like a madman but also being able to grip ridiculously at high speed as well. This car is one of the funnest cars to drive in this game even though it's not the easiest to drive. Now 
Next up on the list we have the Ford Mustang Hot Wheels. Now if you saw last week I did a video on this car, how to get it and such and such, and I explained how back in Forza Horizon 3 this was one of the best sounding cars in the game overall. However in Forza Horizon 4 they have changed the sound a little bit, but it still sounds so, so good. Combine that with the amount of power it has and what it looks, I mean just look at that rear end, it looks ridiculous. It looks like a fat Aventador or something. It's just got such a ridiculous looking back end. The power to it, the sound to it, it's just a very, very vicious car. Up next is a bit of a strange one, but I feel it should be put on this list, and it's the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Now, I believe this car sound is actually the same as the 458 or similar, but the reason I put the 430 on this list is because, because it's such an old car, it feels very raw. The raw power to it. I think this only had about 800 horsepower when I was driving it, but I've driven one of these in real life, and as I said, because it's such an old car, the power just seems really raw, you know, none of these fancy electronics or anything. Power's raw, it sounds raw and vicious, and it, it's it's a nice car to drive. That's why I've decided to sit the 430 Scuderia on this list as a very vicious car. And next up we have a little newbie, it's the Mosla MT900S. This is a recent car to join Forza Horizon 4, as of only a couple, few weeks or a few months ago, somewhere like that between there. And it's taken the spot as probably the best car in the game for everything, for handling, for top speed, for sound, it's easily the best car in the game in so many aspects. And luckily you could combine that with a very vicious sounding car sound and it's a vicious car. Although it's not the best car in the game with the standard engine swap, you can still fully upgrade the standard engine, which is what's in this clip here, and it still gives you that raw, vicious feeling because of the amount of power it still has. I think it's about 1,200 horsepower, which is still more than enough. It feels like it wants to kill you. I mean, every car on this list does for loads of different reasons. That's why I put the Mosler on this list, because it's just ridiculous. Next up is the Hoonigan Hoonicorn. We've got to put this on the list. This is probably one of the fastest cars on this list. I mean, on screen you'll see just how fast this car accelerates. It is one of the fastest cars in the game, and it has one of the highest horsepowers in the game. Combine that with how ridiculous it is to drive and how vicious it is, and the car sound, it's ridiculous. They've certainly done a good job of making this car sound as vicious as it drives. Coming up here we have the Audi R8. Now this is one of the most weaker ones on the list, but the reason I put this on the list is because of the sound. Low revs and high revs, this car just has a sense of, it just sounds so raw and so vicious, and that's why I put this car on this list. I'm only driving it with about 800 horsepower in this clip, but but if you jump in this car, turn your headphones up and start drifting this around the city, it really it is just a fun car to drive just because of how unforgiving the power is, mainly because of the sound. Here we have a surprising one, the Bugatti Chiron. It's inevitable that this car was going to be on a list of some sort like this because it's a Bugatti Chiron. The power this car has is immense and the sound as well. It's just got a certain deep tone to it thanks to its W16 8 litre engine. I certainly enjoy driving it because of the power as well. It wheel spins, it drifts and it just delivers power in such a stupidly fast way. 
really is vicious and that's why it's on this list. So there we are guys, let me know in the comment section below which one of these cars are your favourite most vicious car on this list and also if you have any suggestions for this list let me know in the comment section below what you class as a vicious type car. Suggest some other videos in the comment section below if you want to, Just live a life if you've enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already for more thought around all content and I'll see you all later.